Matt, Renee, these six birdhouses, along with a few others that were stored in his workshop, are all that's left. After Del Rose says 44 of his birdhouses were stolen, and now he's left dealing with the loss of his money and the loss of his hard work. 44 birdhouses stolen overnight. Hard to believe when you go out and they're all gone. Delro says he put 73 birdhouses on display and sold 20 of them in about a week. And then he woke up Sunday morning to find all but six gone. And I figured it up. And that's how much I lost was $1,080. Rose has been making birdhouses since 2006. I retired then and I start making them to supplement my Social Security and, and I've been making them ever since. And he has sold thousands. See, here's another little order that I got that sold. And it fortunately was back here where I had set aside. He has a unique design, using door handles to decorate them, along with making U of O and OSU themed ones. They vary in price, starting at $10. It's a lot of this stuff that nobody else makes, and it's, you know, if they go to try to sell it, they're going to be in hot water, that's for sure. He says he's hoping they'll be found, but until then, it's back to his workshop. And you got to start over is so what I got to do, is, you know, go out and buy the glue and buy the the nails and, and uh, the wood. I, fortunately, I had a lot of wood back here. and I still got a, plenty of it, but it, it all adds up, that's for sure. And Rose has been selling these birdhouses here for years, so you'll see plenty around town. But the Lane County Sheriff's Office says if you see anyone other than Rose selling a large amount of them, to give them a call. Live in Junction City, Amber Wilmarth, KZI 9 News.